Sean here, child support, divorce, and more. Ooh, that didn't sound like a good note. So often, many a marriage ends on a sour note, don't you think? Marriage is a give-give union. When one party stops giving in the area of money, loyalty, or romance, you set the stage for a sour note. In the business that I have, we petition the court for dissolution of marriage, and each day we hear stories, and what has saddened me lately is the behavior of the parties as they are moving through divorce. You can try new ways of thinking despite how you feel. For example, you may try to be fair to the other party. If there's property to divide up, why not be fair and give the fair share to the other party? And also, if you're discussing child timeshare, why not be fair if the other parent is a decent parent? You can divide the time evenly. We don't have to behave on sour notes continually. We can hold our head up high. In some circumstances, the divorced people will still have to be in a relationship with the co-parenting. So let's try to change our thinking and treat the other party with respect. So many people want to lash out because of some feelings of pain or hurt, anger, you can think of what you want to do. Say you want to cause pain to the other party, but if you think it through all the way, the other party will just survive despite that. So it's purposeless to really act out anything painful. For example, you see it played out in the news. If someone, say, wants to destroy a home or a house, the, per the parties are just gonna rebuild it. So you've done all that for no reason. So if you play out, how am I playing this hurt out? It doesn't matter. As long as a person is alive, everything is going to work out. So if you think differently and treat them with respect, you're gonna feel better about yourself. If you can't handle your emotions, therapy may help. But imagine holding your head up high, even though you're divorcing and treating the other person completely fairly, you're gonna feel an immense amount of self-esteem and that will build your character and people will think well of you also. So these are some thoughts to ponder during your divorce. Another thought about a sour note or negative behavior to your ex, whatever negative action you do for your ex, they can always turn that into an opportunity so that they could get better and better. So you may be secretly giving a hidden gift. So it's best to first act respectful and make that offer. Say for example, someone wants to go back to school. You may say, I'll be happy to contribute to your schooling so that you can move on and be successful at something you love to do. Isn't that chivalrous? And that is sort of healing when you act like that. Something to think about. Also, when you're going through your divorce, it's important to write down the feelings. For example, if you do want to lash out, write down the feeling that's associated with that. I want to lash out because, and if it's something that you can process, you may not want to lash out. You also may want to find a win-win in a mediation environment and say, I know that we've had our troubles in the past, but let's put our best foot forward to work out a win-win. This is for a person who is sophisticated with acknowledging their emotions and knowing deep down that the generosity of giving is a win-win and it only just comes right back to you. So you need to be on that level for optimum processing. In closing, through your divorce, a sour note does not produce good character, so you may want to produce a note where chivalry remains.